Um, I'm not sure if TS Queen Mary will be stored with one or two funnels. I saw there was a lot of discussion about that. Am I right in thinking that her present funnels are, because uh, I saw her from the Clydeside Expressway, are not the original dimensions, the thinner. Is that right? Hmm. See, Gordon, you'll be ahead of me here, but there was a huge number of these turbine steamers turned out by Denny's. The Turbinia, which was Charles Parsons' experimental turbine yacht, Turbinia, uh, appeared in 1896. And in 1901, Denny's had built the first commercial turbine steamer, which was the King Edward. Then in 1906, they had the Duchess of Argyle. And then uh, following the Duchess of Argyle, what would the next one be? Probably 1911, the Queen Alexandra. And she went on fire and she was sold to Canadian Pacific Railways as the Princess Patricia, the Princess Pat. And she traveled to Vancouver. And um, a replacement was built, a replacement Queen Alexandra in 1912, which subsequently became David McBrain's St. Columba, the Three Funneler. Kareem has joined us and is sending these wonderful gifts. And uh, that takes us up to 1912. The next one would be 1925, the Glen Sanox twin funnels. 1926, the King George V. 1930, the Duchess of Montrose. 1932, from uh, Harland and Wolfe. Uh, at Govan, the Duchess of Hamilton, which I remember very well. Uh, 1933 was the Queen Mary. And I think 1936 was the Marchioness of Lorne was Turbine as well. And the Marchioness of Graham was a paddle steamer. Have I got that round the right way? So there we have it. So that's you into these. Hello from Malaga, Scotty. Lovely to have you with us.